A new poll shows the race for Nevada's third congressional district very close. The survey shows incumbent Republican John Porter leading his challenger, State Senator Dina Titus, by three percentage points. 13% of those polled yesterday were still undecided. The poll does have a margin of error of plus or minus six percentage points, pretty much making it a tie at this point. Angela? Okay, well, uh, Congressman Porter, speaking of, joins us here Thank today you. on News 3 at Noon. Thank you for coming by. Uh, we're talking about the poll. Also, you were the first Nevada lawmaker to vote for the bailout bill. You voted for it yes. twice, the first time when it failed and then when it passed. We're looking at the stock market today. Things looking good right now. But when you voted for it initially and then the second time, what was your vision as to when it would start helping the economy? Well, what we tried to do is, you know, first of all, protect the taxpayer, but also make sure that families could, could reach some relief here in Southern Nevada. Uh, we knew it would take a little bit of time because once it's passed, you still have to put together the regulations and the administrative process to, right. to get it in place. And I think that vote, plus what's happened over the weekend you know, with, the, with the top nations of the world getting together, we're seeing today uh, some success. Of course, it's still a little bit early, but uh, I, I'm optimistic that we're going to see families see some relief. As you know, right now it's, it's hard to next, get us. Are, are you thinking in the next weeks, months, folks, you know, opening my 401k statement over the weekend, you just kind of have this uneasiness, like when is it going to, to start to well, work? The first thing we need to do is try to provide some confidence to the investors so they'll reinvest in the, in the markets, and we're seeing that today. We're hoping to see relief uh, at least steps right away, but it's going to take some time. And you know, there's, it's difficult to get a loan for a car today. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's difficult to get a home loan. It's difficult for families and businesses to, you know, to, to get a loan, and especially a business to, for their payroll. So we're hoping it's soon, but we have to create confidence and that's one of the things that we tried to do. Okay, let's talk a little bit about negative ads. There is an editorial that ran on our station this morning. It's going to run again at the end of this program, and you are one of the politicians singled out in the editorial for using negative ads. Do you feel like your ads are negative? Well, first, you know, I appreciate Perry, but in, in about 14, uh, 14 or $15 million have been spent beating me up the last six years, and probably a, a third of that has come to Channel 3. So uh, I, I'm accustomed to having uh, uh, being beat up. But I'll tell you, it's important that voters know the difference. You know, my opponent raised her pension 300%. She voted to double her pay. Uh, she spent two, or she's received $2.1 million from special interest. People need to know those so things. So you feel like it's fair game. If, if the other person's running them, then, then you should run the same I, types I of ads. That, I think we need to show uh, a difference between our opponents and, and ourselves in, in the process. That's why uh, my voters need to know where, where, where my uh, uh, opponent stands on issues. And if we can't tell them, uh, then it's difficult for individuals to make the decision. But we, we point out areas that are factual, like she has a 300% pension increase. You're so running, these things we need, we need to let the voter know that. You're running for your third term. Um, you've been in Washington now about six years. So what, could you name like a couple things that you've done that you feel have helped put Southern Nevadans in a better life than they were when you started in office? Well, a, a couple of things. Let's talk about the current economic challenge that we have. In the legislation that passed, I had language to call for investigating from Wall Street to, to Congress to the administration to make sure it doesn't happen again. That is going to make a difference for a lifetime. Uh, I, I've helped uh, create the Nevada State College, Nursing College. I'm very proud of that. Uh, from alternative energy to finding ways for, to create jobs for Nevadans, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished. In okay. Uh, Congressman Porter, thank you so much for thank joining us. Much. We're unfortunately out of time. Where can people go to find more information about you and where you stand on the issues? Uh, www.porterforcongress.com. And, okay. and we sure will welcome any questions. We're happy to get back as quickly as we can. Okay. Thank you very much thank for joining very us. Much. We appreciate it.